Have we met? No. Sorry. You remind me of someone I know. A secret meeting, Professor? Oh, we haven't been introduced. I am Shamir. Shamir is one of the Knights of Saros, and this young man is... I work for Lady Rhea, and I'm Shamir's apprentice. Oh, the name's Cyril. Yep, she's teaching me about the bow and the sword and all kinds of stuff. I've got to protect Lady Rhea, so that's why I've got to learn all I can from Shamir. Cyril adores Rhea. That aside, if you need anything, ask. You spend too much time roaming the monastery. If you're looking for something, try less aimless wandering. Do you even know who the enemy is? You can't know why without knowing who. It's none of my business anyway. I'm just here to take care of enemies who get too close. What brings you here? I'm taking a break. What brings you here? I'm taking a break. Is this about Flane? You find me suspicious. <laughs> I was somewhere else, fighting. Is that a problem? I understand that I don't fit in among the Knights of Saros, but that hardly links me to Flane's disappearance. I shall speak with the Archbishop immediately. Please, promise to look after Flame. She is all I have. Welcome to the Monastery Fishing Tournament. You look confused. Didn't Sabbath to tell you about it? Just catch whatever fish Flame requests. Show any fish you catch to Flame. Of the four or five years since I started here, this is certainly the busiest. It was four. I've been here five. What's a year here or there? Don't be petty now, Shamir. You count your enemies the same way. If I take care of them quickly, what does it matter how many there are? Oh, sorry. We didn't mean to ignore you, Professor. As you were saying, it's been a busy year. There never seemed to be enough hands for the work. That reminds me. Do you have that thing? If you do, we want it. Want? No. We need it. Give it to me, not her. Hey, now. I'm the one who brought it up. We may be friends, but that's just rude. Hey, Professor. The students seem to like you. <laughs> and you're not modest about it. I like that. Still, I can't deny that you've got skills. It's a little strange, to be completely honest. I had my doubts, but they were right to make you a professor. I'd be suspicious of their true intentions, if I were you. But what's it matter? Seems like it turned out just fine for you. I'll admit, it's unbelievable that you used to be a mercenary. I was a merc before coming here, but... I can't imagine pulling off your fancy tactician act. I freeze up near royals and nobles. You deal with a lot of nobles when you're a merc. I didn't mind putting my life on the line, but I never liked having to bow and scrape to our noble employers. And that's what I like about being a knight. I get to punch all the nobles I want. <laughs> I'm joking. But the knights do make a good business partner. I don't believe in the Church of Saros. It makes me a bit of an anomaly among the knights. Rhea took me in, so I became a knight to repay my debt to her. I may be a knight, but it still feels like I'm doing the same things I did as a merc. Who knows, though? Maybe you and I will end up working together. Us knights are a pretty tough crew. I'm guessing you'd run circles around us, though. I'm interested to see where your path leads you. What's this about? The ball? Knights don't participate. It's an event for students, but it does pique the interest of some knights in particular. People who live an inordinately long time, people whose hair changes color, and those odd heroes' relics. Is Fodlan some mystical land full of inhuman creatures? You should see for yourself. I'd recommend exploring west of the Empire. Thanks for your help out there. 
Battles tend to go smoother with you around. <laughs> I think you did most of the heavy lifting. It may be unwise to think this way on the battlefield, but I feel I can trust your commands without question. Not sure. I might have an idea, but nah, never mind. I've also noticed that you've been putting me in more precarious situations lately. Almost like you know I won't question your orders. Huh. I'm glad you trust me to get the job done, but still. I knew you were doing it on purpose. You're in a very important position now that you're leader of the Imperial Army. Funny to think you used to just teach at the Officer's Academy. Your old students still call you Professor. That's no title for the commander of an army. You'll always be their Professor, huh? You sure are an interesting one. My people lost the war, and I was left to wander Fodlan alone, but I guess meeting you was my prize. You look confused. Did you not know any of this? I was living in my homeland of Dagda, up until the Imperial Army destroyed it ten years ago. But, being a mercenary, I have no real allegiance. That's why I'm working here now. Don't worry, though. I don't plan to turn on you. What's that look on your face? Surprised to see me? I'm a mercenary. Always have been. Even when I was with the Knights of Seros. I never was too attached to Fodlan. I was considering leaving soon. But I might change my mind if you're around. Claude, eh? He always was sharp among his peers. Never let himself get caught up in conventions. <laughs> he wasn't typical in Fodlan. Then there's Rhea and King Dimitri. I'd stay on their good sides, for different reasons. Yeah, well, if that's the only way forward, it can't be helped. It's been ten years. Can I move on yet? <sighs> Never mind. I know what you'd say. In a sense, someone who's long since passed. Another mercenary I fought alongside. They were killed ten years ago when Dagda was in conflict with the Empire. It's all I can focus on lately. To be honest, I blame you. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I know it's not your fault. You just remind me of him. You give off a similar air. It's... uncanny. You even have the same inflection, which makes no sense because we only ever spoke Dagden. I don't know what it is, but you feel the same to me. I guess you just remind me of the past. Eh, that's fair. It's not your fault. It's my fault for getting caught up in memories. Still, you always remember your first love, right? That's enough of that. There are more relevant topics to discuss. Good question. The world is completely open to me. Your next move seems apparent. But who knows where I'll end up. Though I may have done enough traveling for one lifetime. I like the idea of having a permanent home. And after all my time here, I've grown quite fond of Fodlan. Our Emperor mercilessly cuts down all those who stand in her way. Even the Master Tactician. Last month's fight with the Knights of Saros was a disaster. I am. I never believed in Saros. And my old colleagues are now just enemies. Sometimes it's easier to get by without any personal attachment or religious beliefs. 
The idea of defeating Rhea is beginning to feel more like a reality. Some may say that I'm returning her goodwill with betrayal, but I believe I've worked off my debt. The real problem is a certain someone else. That's right. She was my partner, after all. I haven't seen her since leaving the Knights. I can see her coming to slaughter me, driven by her mixed emotions of love and hate. Sorry. It looks like I'm going to have to leave you now. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her. Sorry for making you wait. Negotiations went long. Nothing to worry about. They tried convincing me to stay on as a mercenary, but I said no. I've been considering a different kind of commitment instead. Less of a contract, more of a promise. Good. I thought you might want to follow Fodlin tradition and exchange rings. Right, that's that. Shall we be off? What's wrong? Are you expecting more? We've been fighting together for so long. No need for words. I've said enough. Right? I can see this is important to you. <sighs> Fine then. I vow to stay with you through all of life's many hardships. I will stay by your side, and you'll stay by mine. I left Dagda, crossed through Bridget, and came to Fodlan on my own. I chose the life of a mercenary, alone, and free to live wherever and however I pleased. Now I'm choosing to remain here, to live the rest of my life with you. <sighs> Is that enough? I'm just embarrassed. <laughs> Look at us. We have no idea what to do with ourselves. But, you're right, this is a special day. Now then, are you ready to go? <laughs> Fine, we can stay. I've already made a fool of myself. No point in trying to avoid it now. So, what else is there to talk about? Oh, right. Remember when I mentioned how much you have in common with my old partner? I don't think that's actually true. I didn't want to admit that I was attracted to you, so I convinced myself that I was just pining for the past. I was worried that revealing those feelings would ruin our friendship. <laughs> anyway, it's your turn to talk. Tell me about your past. <laughs> You're lucky I love you, otherwise I wouldn't let you get away with an answer like that. Falling behind. I don't know that we can keep up with the new Emperor. To think that she was able to raise an army of that size right under our noses. However hard we fight, I give us a 50% chance of winning. The enemy has too many advantages. We must make careful preparations. There are enemy spies around. Remain vigilant. Capture anyone who seems suspicious. I'm glad you understand. I'm counting on you. Five years ago, when the Imperial Army attacked Garag Mach, they moved with incredible speed. But in the middle of all that chaos, she still had operatives watching. The hero of Daphnil's spy network is impressive. She shouldn't be taken lightly. 
Did you give the ridiculous order to prepare Imperial armor for every one of our troops? I've reached out through all of my channels, but there are limits to these things. I'll have to recruit an entire town's worth of people if I ever plan on making enough. Ten years ago, Dagda and Bridget attacked the Empire from the west. Their final target was the capital. But they were countered at a port town long before they reached their destination. I guess our attempt has been more successful than theirs, all things considered. Uh, yes. We saved Rhea and the Empire has crumbled. The kingdom may as well be finished too. The reasons for me to remain in Fodlan are fading. Of course, I've come this far. May as well see it through to the end.